That one's been stuck there for like five minutes. While Waymo takes forever to cross that signal, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang just announced something worth the wait. Something that makes that hesitation look prehistoric. Today we're announcing Alpamayo, the world's first thinking, reasoning, autonomous vehicle AI. For years, you've been asking us at AIM, where is level 5? Where is the car that drives better than me? The industry kept promising and sadly failing. But at CES 2026, the narrative took a turn. Say hello to Alpa Mayo. NVIDIA calls it the world's first thinking, reasoning, autonomous vehicle AI. We call it the end of the robot reflex era. Let me draw your attention to the difference. Old self-driving was very simple. Detect object, match rule, execute. If X, then Y. It was a reflex, like a knee jerk. Alpha Mayo changes the physics of the industry. It uses vision language action models, VLA. It doesn't just see pixels, it sees the world. It reasons about context, it explains its move, then it drives. Jensen Huang says it's trained end to end. Camera in, actuation out. This means Rule-based autonomy has been replaced with reasoning-based autonomy. There's a reason people still don't fully trust self-driving cars. Because when something goes wrong, no one can explain the decision. Engineers can show you the footage, they can show you the data, but they can't say, this is why the car did that. And that is exactly what's referred to as the black box problem. Alpha Mayo alters that completely. When the car makes a move, it can actually explain the logic behind it. If it breaks suddenly, it doesn't just say object detected. No, it says something closer to, I saw a ball roll onto the road. I assumed a child might follow. You may not always agree with the decision, but now at least you can understand it. And understanding is where trust starts. And this isn't just a controlled demo anymore. It's actually hitting the roads. The first guinea pig, sorry, the first model, the Mercedes-Benz CLA. Launching in the United States later this year. It's built on NVIDIA Drive Hyperion. Think of Hyperion as the skeleton. Alpha Mayo is the brain. It's a level 4 ready architecture. But here is the catch. And there is always a catch. NVIDIA is playing it safe with a dual stack approach. You have the Alpha Mayo reasoning model, the genius, and you have a traditional rules based fallback, the safety net. If Alpha Mayo gets confused or, well, philosophical, something like to be or not to be, or on those lines, the system defaults to the old boring safe rules. But how do you teach a car to handle the unexpected? You don't wait for it to happen, you fabricate it. Enter Alpha Sim. Real world driving actually has a long tail of very weird events. So, for example, an unhappy, depressed bird flying into the windshield, a tornado in a tunnel, or a deer on a skate. Really? Anyway, moving on. NVIDIA is synthetically generating these nightmares. And yeah, the last one was near misses, weather chaos. And as Wang put it, long tails become normal circumstances, which means that the car lives a thousand lifetimes in the matrix before it meets you at the curb. So to ensure that we don't get another embarrassed robot stuck in traffic. Now, when we view the larger picture, this jumps out at us, which is that this isn't just about cars. CES 2026 revealed NVIDIA's hand. Yes, they aren't just selling chips, they are selling physical AI. The Rubin architecture. Six chips, extreme co-design, 3.5 times faster training, 5 times faster inference, tokens at one-tenth the cost. And the list looks impressive. Clara for healthcare, Earth 2 for climate, 
Nemotron for reasoning, Cosmos for robotics, Groot for embodied intelligence. NVIDIA is open sourcing intelligence and then selling the shovel you need to dig for it. But beneath the hype, NVIDIA admitted something very silently. The power problem, which is that our brain runs on 20 watts. A single NVIDIA GPU, 400 plus. So to match our reasoning, they need 1000 GPUs, which well translates to 20,000 times the power. Brute force is over. The next decade warrants that bigger models will be edged out and it will focus more on efficiency. And NVIDIA with Alpha Mayo is taking that first step, doing more with less. And as always, in conclusion, here is the front page take. The bottom line, self-driving cars didn't fail because they couldn't see. No. They struggled because they couldn't explain themselves. That's starting to change now. So when a machine can tell you why it acted, trust becomes possible. Driving is just the first step. That what NVIDIA is actually really building is intelligence that can live in the physical world. AI isn't just reacting anymore. No, it's actually starting to make sense of what it's doing. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below. This is Front Page by AIM Network. Think AI. Think Physical AI. Think AIM.